Hey guys, J Squared here, and today I'm going to be breaking down this RS3M and showing you the internals. Let's jump right into it. So in order for me to show you the internals, I have to first break it down. Now let's go ahead and separate these, and we'll start with the core. So this is the core. Simple basic core, it's pretty free flowing, and the really cool thing is that it's got these squared off center design. I've never seen that in a cube before, but that's pretty cool. So I completely forgot to show you that the center caps are actually nice and long. So you don't have to worry about it randomly popping out of while you're solving. So really nice touch. Now let's move on to the corner and an edge piece. So this is how they sit together. And as you can see, it's got this double tracks type design. I'm thinking it's for anti-pop. I don't know, but it's locked in there pretty well. The edge piece does have these ridges and a flat surface on the side. And the corner has one ridge there. And then on the corner stock base, it's actually got one ridge right here, which is kind of hard to tell. But I think that's for less friction between the tracks and the pieces so that you can have a smooth, fast turning cube. That's pretty cool. Let's break it down some more. So this is the edge piece and I'm going to open it and show you the magnets. These look like four by one size magnets, but I have a measuring tape so I can measure that, but I'm going to measure it off the two just because it's going to be a little harder to measure off the one. So off the two looks about four millimeters. Don't want to move the camera. And that is about one millimeter thick. That's pretty cool. Let's do the same thing for the corner piece. Now to open up a corner piece. Well, man, these are tough, which is good because you don't want you don't want to have the corner piece separating and having a really cheap feeling cube. But I'll open it right now. Now that it's open, we can see that the magnet is actually a little thicker than the edge piece. So let's measure that. That's about two millimeters thick. That is interesting. Let's see if it should be four across. So let me see. Yeah, that's four by two, which is rather interesting. Um, why would they would put a four by one magnet in the edge piece and a four by two in the corner piece um but let me show you the pieces together side by side actually and that is how they sit together now as you can see the plastic between that is actually rather thick so i'm guessing that the magnetic strength could be N48s. I doubt they're N35s just because the plastic is so thick and it's got a good magnetic bump when turning. So don't quote me, but my guess N48 and then 4x2 on the corner piece, 4x1 on the edge piece. Now I'm just gonna do a quick simple setup on how I lubricate my cube and that'll be the end of the video. So typically I build one layer and then I put a drop of lubricant on the tracks and one drop of lubricant on the piece itself. I'm gonna be using Martian from Speed Cube Shop, which I'm not sponsored, so free advertisement, right? I'm gonna put one drop 
on the inside of the track there. And then one more drop on the other side, which I hope you can see, of the track right there, which you can't really see. Anyway, then I use DNM 37 from the cubicle, which I'm also not sponsored, so more free advertisement on the edge piece and only one because if I put too much it starts getting a little slow over time and I don't like that I like the speedy feeling anyway I'm gonna build more and then show you the other drop of lubricant and then put it all together once I'm down to my last two pieces that's when I grab my DNM 37 do one more drop just on this edge piece right there just that much I don't need a lot and then I place the last two pieces on the cube and I break it in Now it's got the perfect feel that I like for my cubes. Just gonna quickly mention that I do use Max Command on the core itself, just cause it's a thicker lubricant and it gets rid of spring noise. This cube does have spring noise, but it's not too loud, not too annoying. But if you're picky about it, then it's really gonna bother you. I would recommend Max Command or any heavy silicone based lubricant for the core to get rid of the spring noise. Well guys, that was my in-depth review of the RS3M 2020 edition. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that helped you out a little bit. J squared out. Peace.